This week, I competed with my best friend Raf in the 15k doubles event in Kuwait. Earlier this year, we made the 15k final in Spain and wanted to continue this partnership to end the year on a career high. We will be playing two weeks of doubles tournaments here, so let's see how it went. Yeah, come on. So we'll jump straight in in week one against two opponents, much higher ranked than us, Igor Dudun and Kasuki Ogura. Um, these two were a pairing that were, I think were playing together for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. We had a pretty shaky start. We went down 2-0. Uh, me and Raf haven't played too many matches uh, together. We haven't played together on hard courts at all in the last, I think, two or three years. So it was going to be a little bit of getting used to. However, I was super pumped to play with Raf again. He's back from college for the winter um, period. So it was going to be time for, time for us to chop up in doubles. You can see we get the break back there at 2 to get the the hold on serve and now we're looking to really try and do some damage and try and get another break they were quite handy at the net we knew that we'd have to try and hold our service games and make sure that at the net we were just staying consistent um i think both of us were kind of getting used to playing doubles together in this first match in the sense that our volleys and everything like that were kind of getting warm five three up uh, on serve in a very dominant position in this in this first set uh, Raf you can see they're moving the ball around nicely me finishing at the net we take the first set 6-3 I definitely think that it was um, a, def a big confidence booster taking that first set in any match um, you know especially in doubles it's all about confidence it's all about you know how you're moving are you moving confidently are you hitting the ball well you can see me here smashing the ball at my opponent he had some great hands there but you have to take those opportunities and those risks especially at this level because most of the opponents would miss those volleys and, and, and give you a chance and you always got to scramble as you can see with Raf scrambling there keeps us in the point nice reflex volley there I'm looking to phase up it's always um, a strategy of me and Raf's is to get in get forwards and try and put some pressure on our opponents to either hit through us or pass us and we're always going to be looking for opportunities like that and definitely on every single smash put the ball away this is one of my number one rules I say to say to Raf because sometimes um, well, Raf sometimes has a bit of a tendency of not putting his smashes away, but like that, that's exactly what we want to be doing on the smashes, making sure we're putting it over the fence is what I say to him. Um, and uh, yeah, it just keeps it nice and simple that we're not kind of overthinking uh, our smashing. But as you can see here, 6 3 5 2 up and a sudden death juice here on match point. Raf opting with the second serve kick into the body and we force the error and win the first round of this 15K, which will secure us two ATP points and move us up the rank. It also meant that we were through to the quarterfinals, which took place on Thursday. Here you can see us warming up for that match, mainly hitting a lot of serve and return because I find that serving is always such an integral part of doubles. Um, you can literally just see us warming up our serve return, maybe the first ball, looking to have a few switches line. And we're gonna jump straight into this match against another two very strong opponents in uh, Koblal and Vassaman. Um, I might have got those surnames wrong, but I tried my best. Um, you can see their rankings, 828 and 888. I think they were 30 spaces off being seeded. Um, so definitely two strong opponents in the second round of the 15K. And you can see already what their weapons are. Um, power and touch um, were, the, were the two best ways I can describe it. We knew we kind of had to keep it you know, consistent on serve. Um, you can see early them having chances in Raf's service game here, absolutely pelting the ball coming forwards, and um, Raf not being able to quite put that ball away gave them an early break, uh, which kind of set the tone for this match. Really, they were both playing some very good tennis, some good touch, touch shots, and uh, keeping our service games tight, which is never what you want. Um, I managed to escape with an ace in my service game, which was obviously uh, very much needed. But as you can see, they're coming up with a lot of answers to our questions. And I felt that we weren't really able to put out, put away those closing volleys. We do a lot of uh, a lot of um, you know groundwork like that, but uh, get, get a little bit lucky on that ball. However, a lot of the time we're kind of putting ourselves in the right position. But at sudden death juice there, um, that is a ridiculous return there. And uh, you can see Raf doing something similar, and once again not doing quite enough on that first ball and we lose the first set 6-2 so we knew we've got, we've got to kind of regroup here in the second try and find a different way of uh, of winning points and as you can see there just trying to be nice and aggressive um, but you know with returns like that it's super difficult because you know when once they've got the break they're going to hold on to it and so we knew okay look now that we're down a break we've really got to try and 
focus up in our service games and try and find a way through. And um, they seem to have a lot of answers to our questions, uh, as you can see, uh, finding ways of just, you know, winning game after game. But on this sudden death juice, you know, deciding to come across, uh, definitely paying off and getting a, another sudden death juice point here at 4-3. And them getting a little bit tight, uh, taking it to four all, a good opportunity here to, to hold serve and go up for the first time in the second set. I definitely think that at this point, we you know we were grooving a little bit more, me and Raf. Uh, we were both playing a lot better, not only in this match, but as a pairing. Um, you know, I was understanding better at what plays Raf likes to play, and he was un understanding better what I kind of like to play. I'm slightly more of a kind of big serve, uh, look for a big shot player. Raf slightly more kind of touch and feel based. So we kind of had to adjust to that a little bit. Um, but as you can see, Raf gets broken, unfortunately, um, in that game at five all, meaning that they're once again serving for, well, for the, actually for the first time, serving for the match. You can see just missing a smash there, but still a sudden death juice point. I decided to be ballsy and go down the line, which takes us to a second set tie break. Now, this means we're only two tie breaks away uh, from winning the match. So that's that's definitely a positive thing. Raf just reaching across there at the wrong moment. Um, it was definitely the right ball, just a little bit of hesitation, but makes up for it there on the next point. Uh, it goes to two all. It's very tense at the beginning of this tie break. I can remember it being, uh, yeah, definitely one that we, we wanted to try and win and, and force a, a breaker as you can see there Elgin with some solid hands um, at the net under under the pressure and here at 5-4 I'm looking for the ball here I'm looking to kind of poach and just not expecting that down the tee forces them a 6-4 point on serve and hitting the top of the net tape puts us out of the tournament in the quarterfinals it also meant that from that tournament we got two ATP points for losing in the quarters however there's always a second week when we played against Musa out top and Igor Dudun once again both again Highly ranked players, uh, combined ranking higher than us. So we knew it wasn't going to be an easy first round. And uh, these guys came out of the blocks uh, pretty pretty hot. They were playing very some very good tennis. Uh, again, very consistent on serve, both of these players. And, um, you know, managing to break us quite early on. So we knew we kind of had our work cut out for us. But I think once again, we decided that, you know, doubles is such a long... Um, a long match in the sense that there's a lot of sudden death juices there's a lot of opportunities to to kind of find a way back into it and uh you know losing i think it was three or four sudden death juice points in this first set definitely didn't help you can see here uh once again sudden death juice um which we managed to win but the ones on serve weren't going our way and with shots like that you can see why we were we were down a bit in this first set musa here serving uh for them to win this set I definitely think we were just being a little bit hesitant um, and they were coming up with some really good shots. You can see they're dipping down the ball and in this second set, I, I said to Raph, look, let's just play nice and aggressive, really try and have an intention on these sudden death points and try and put some pressure on them. We're not coming forwards enough and that was something which definitely worked, which was, um, you know, me and Raph trying to kind of create this wall at the net, uh, forcing them to either have to lob or have to, to try and basically hit through us. And um, you know, with with that first set under our belt, we definitely felt that we were confident enough to to force the errors. You can see us there managing to get the break and uh, a point here to go three love. A solid ball from Raf, forcing that ball low, giving us a chance. And again, a sudden death juice point. Great hands from Raf. And here I said to myself, just go straight at the guy as hard as I can. Second time, boom, and it paid off. And again, another sudden death juice point here. In, in this set winning all of the sudden death juice points literally every single game here going to sudden death juice you can see uh, five love for the chance at the bagel and a match tie break Raf there staying solid at the net looking to come across and Musa missing it long forcing us into a match tie break uh, in this first round match this was going to be huge because obviously you know every event where you can stack up those ATP points is going to be hugely critical and important so I knew how important this tie break was going to be you know, I said to Raf, let's just hustle, play, make them play the volleys. And you know, they played some great points like that. They made it difficult for us. We managed to change ends. I think it was at 4-2 and go 6-4 up here. Again, looking to try and make them play, but then also come forwards, like I said, create that wall at the net. And uh, just absolutely hustling. We were all pretty tight in this tie break, I think. Um, and eventually forcing a... Um, a smash that wasn't good enough. I hit a huge serve here at seven. There at seven five, absolute cannon, and forcing 
In 8-6, we lose that point and we take 9-7, two match points. Raf with the ball up the line and we managed to take the win 10-7 in the match tiebreak. An absolute battle, which was super close, giving us another two ATP points in the back. Yes, guys, so me and Raf managed to get it done 10-7 in the breaker. Raf was a little bit tight in the breaker. Yeah, I was. Doubles is mainly about like match breakers and you know tight points, so last week we, we got a bit unlucky in some sun death juice points, but yeah, this week we dealt with it a little bit better. It was the same thing as on the first set. Yeah, we lost three Sunday juice points. We only won breakdown. Yeah. That's the first set, 6 3. It looks like we lost it quite convincingly. But that's the thing. It's just like one break and then one or two Sunday juice points. Yeah. We've got seed number two, so it'll be a good match. Rematch against Giles Hussey. That's going to be a good one. So, yeah, let's get it done. Good. And now, week two's quarterfinals Alex Knaff and Giles Hussey against myself and Raf. The two highest ranked opponents we've played so far out of the four matches, including this one that we've played so far. So, we knew. It was going to be a tough test. Um, Giles has made finals of challenges um, and uh, Alex has also played for, for Luxembourg. So definitely some, some high quality opponents that we knew we could have to be on our top level. We, need, we get broken pretty early. And as you can see, having a very tight game there on Giles' serve to try and break back. Uh, I was serving very well. Um, I think I went uh, 13 or 14 points in this match. Uh, on my service games uh, without losing a single one. So I was play his serving really well. Um, and here you can see, again, Juice, uh, this point I remember was, was one of the best points of the match actually to, to get the break and level it out in this first set. That ball just landing wide. Um, we definitely wanted to hold this game here to serve, make them serve it out. Giles just misses that ball long. And this game was, uh, was a game that me and Raf said, look, let's just try and really put some pressure on them, hit some big balls and um, try and get a break here. Giles with a very good volley there and a nice angle. Um, couldn't quite do anything about that. And uh, Alex with some strong serving, Giles with some solid volleys, uh, just putting some pressure on us and they managed to take the first set, but we felt that we were in it. We obviously had two break points uh, to break Giles' serve and um, that last game was a lot closer than the scoreline said, so... Um, definitely a good opportunity. However, Raf did get broken in the first game. I think we were struggling throughout this these two weeks to hold Raf's serve. Um, I think just not enough movement from myself at the net, and I think not enough free points from Raf's serve uh, was a little bit of an issue. But as you can see here, a juice I get broken, which was which was brutal because that was all of I think our our strongest service game. But as you can see here, a juice this was a must-win point. I absolutely crushed it cross. And that was the moment I knew, you know, we still had a chance here in this match. And, uh, you know, very important here to hold Raf serve to go 3-2. And now it was only one break in it. And this game was huge. And Raf hit the umpire. <laughs> but nevertheless, we said, you know, 40-15 down. Always got to fight. Just tr trying to push the net a little bit more. Put some pressure on these guys. And we managed to get a sudden death juice point. Uh, Giles with the serve out wide. Raf goes straight at Alex. And unfortunately... The ball goes past him. Uh, but like the first set, you know, this game's never lost. There's going to be a lot of sudden death juices, close games. And this point was absolutely huge. I decided to absolutely hustle, try and get it as high as possible. I thought surely he can't put away the smash. And he hits it right into the corner to take that game, which is just too good. Um, yeah, that was very high level smash. And as you can see here, holding on the RAF service game to try and take it. Uh, to ask the question and Giles high quality player um, you know he's ranked that way for a reason they do manage to, to take the match there 6-4-6-4 six, four, six, four, a very tight battle I'm very happy with me and Raf's performance uh, it also meant that we took another further two ATP points from that week ending the year with four ATP points and a career high of 1,119 for myself uh, which I'm very happy about and hopefully next year we can push to try and get top 500 that's my aim thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video